I think I may really want to maybe have a couple of tuna fights. My fight coming off the loss against uh, Canelo, I think uh, maybe have a nice tuna fight myself, or maybe go into a big fight. I mean, I'm still spending, I still spend a lot of time in the gym, make sure that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm improving myself, I've become a better fighter. So yeah, but it's going to be December next next day for me. It's going to be definitely December. I can't wait to get in the ring and go back to America. You know, you know, Jim, I remember his first commentating on me back in 2004 at the Olympics. That's right, yeah. That's how we met the other guy there, wasn't it? The only one there, yeah, yeah. With that silver medal and uh, he's, he's, he's progressed. But you won the bronze one. Was it I won a bronze medal, medal, yeah. yeah. You, you got uh, so, 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 <laughs> so, 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 all right, you can fight me. Um, it was great for Richie to give me that advice when I was in the Olympics because I, at the time when we had that conversation, I hadn't even won a medal. And he was telling me about his one medal and the way he won it and stay calm and everything. And you know, that's what you need to talk about. Team, it's a team sport as well. Listen, you've got a lot of fighting left in you, but you know what you're going to do when you stop. You're going to be able to be able to fight up here, aren't you? All right, you can fight me. Uh, basically, Amir Khan saying. He wants to win another world title. We've heard it from him before. Uh, he talks about liking the Danny Garcia rematch when he's had several opportunities at making a rematch with Danny Garcia. Plenty of chances. Dude, it's with Al Heyman for time. For a heck of a long time while Danny Garcia was still out there, while he was at 140. I don't know what Amir got. Man, Amir got, man. He also had to say that um, he's training hard and whatnot. His hands fucked up. He said uh, he's been fighting with hand injuries the uh, past three years or whatever, four or five years. <laughs> so, uh, talk about his hand injury, talk about his training. Mir Khan uh, mentioned Earl Spence's name. I don't think he wants to fight him. He talked about either uh, having a, a tune up fight or going right into a big fight and just talked about the whole. Uh, uh, what I would say, um, just the whole uh, list of options we've heard before from Amir Khan that just has never been, he's never been able to make the Manny Pacquiao fight, right? He had the mystery guys from Dubai make their offers, and, and, and that, where did that go? Didn't go nowhere. That was all bullshit. And Bob Arum knew all that shit was bullshit. He knew it. So he let Manny Pacquiao go down that primrose path, and uh, it didn't work out for him. But yeah, Amir Khan has completely resurfaced. He's back, sort of, in some kind of a... He's, he, he always, he's an attention whore, for real. Like, he would be a full-time commentator, boxing pundit, if he could be. Because uh, I'm sure he'd rather just sit in front of a camera and fucking... <laughs> get a paycheck like that then fucking uh, have to be the guy fighting I'll tell you that much Amir Khan um, as much as he wants to say he's young and, and he still has a lot no he doesn't have a lot of years left he's another fight away from being knocked out and being completely put out of his put out of his misery he needs to fight a tuna fight and gradually build himself up that's how you come back if you've been knocked out the way he got knocked out versus Canelo, you don't come back in with a tough puncher. And in fact, he has been purposely matched away from big punchers ever since he fought and lost to Danny Garcia. And then he subsequently lost to Lamont Peterson. And even after that, they've been keeping him away from big punchers. And huge mistake to go up to middleweight and face a huge puncher in Canelo Alvarez. Really huge mistake. Looking back at that decision, he would have been better off just fighting another bum, waiting for Kelbrook to lose, and then making the Kelbrook fight after he lost. And instead of you coming off a, looking like a dumbass by getting knocked out by Canelo Alvarez, you can stay winning even if you fought a bum. The thing, the thing is, it, it's so, it's like, Kel Brook and Amir Khan, both these guys, it's like they have some ego trip uh, rivalry with each other, and it seems like because, in my opinion, I believe Kel Brook was like jealous of Amir Khan moving up to 160, so he wanted, he reacted and moved up and to just, 
and made it all personal with Amir Khan. So he's saying, I'm going to middle way too, and I'm, I want Triple G. He said that directly after Amir Khan made his fight with um, uh, Canelo. Um, Kell Brook wanted to go up and fight Triple G. He fucked himself up too, and he cashed out his uh, undefeated record pretty much. So, um, all in all, uh, I guess it was a decent fight. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on uh, Huey Fury uh, taking his uh, first defeat. And Joseph Parker remains undefeated, defends his WBO title in the UK, and uh, comes back like, hopefully stronger. Hopefully that will set him up for Anthony Joshua fight. Anthony Joshua's running out of opponents. <laughs> and I, I want to see uh, Parker out of the picture. I think I think he should take his uh, uh, I think he should take his title and put it on the line against Anthony Joshua. But I have a feeling Parker doesn't want that fight. Just my thoughts, E King Fight News. And of course, let me know what you guys think. Comment, subscribe. I need more of these subscribers, guys. E King Fight.